today, we will be taking a look at five rock-solid Linux distros that provide extreme stability and reliability. Geeks is an immutable Linux distro by the GNU project. Click the link in the top right corner to learn more about immutable distros. Geeks is fully free as in freedom and open source, meaning there's no proprietary codex or software. It also uses the Linux Libre kernel, which is full, a fully free as in freedom a version of the Linux kernel, and its own init system called GNU Shepherd, instead of more popular options like System D. It also comes with its own package manager based on the Nix package manager from NixOS called, you guessed it, Geeks. Rocky Linux is a distro based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Like Red Hat Enterprise Linux, it gets a new version around every four years or so, with minor updates every six months for five years. And each version gets 10 years of support, making it extremely stable and reliable. Rocky Linux offers most of the benefits of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, like powerful security, extreme reliability, emerging open source technologies, and more for no cost, making it a great replacement for the now discontinued CentOS. OpenSUSE Leap is an extremely stable and reliable distro that comes with a flexible configuration tool called YAST, and a tool called Snapper for managing ButterFS and LVM snapshots. For businesses, it's a great free alternative to the more professional SUSE Enterprise Linux, and for normal people, it's a very secure and reliable distro that you can depend on, just like Debian. It works perfectly out of the box and has a big software repository at software.opensuse.org. Debian is a very well-known, extremely reliable distro, and is the second oldest actively maintained distro. Many consider it the grandpa of Linux distros because so many distros are based on it, including the very popular Ubuntu. It is used in many devices and is especially popular in the server space. Even Google and the International Space Station use Debian. Debian used to be fully free as in freedom by default, meaning that you couldn't watch certain videos, movies, or even use Wi-Fi sometimes due to missing drivers and codecs. This was changed in Debian 12, now allowing you to use proprietary codecs and firmware. Slackware is the oldest actively maintained distro and is rarely updated making it one of the most stable on this list since things don't change very often. It's not beginner friendly as it does things the more traditional way, meaning you have to partition the drive using text-based methods, the installer is text-based, is a text-based and curses installer, the package manager is different, and the list goes on. Like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss our awesome Linux and tech videos and join the Penguin Byte Discord community with the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.